Hi everybody, this is um, a bit of chemistry for you, um, electrolysis. And we're going to look at electrolysis using copper electrodes. So look at this diagram here. This is, uh, this is what's going on. So in electrolysis of copper sulfate with copper electrodes, um, we have this setup here. Okay, so obviously um, in our solution here, we've got uh, copper two ions, we've got sulfate ions. And what happens is the copper from this, uh, the copper anode here, what it does is it produces copper ions. So copper metal turns into copper ions, which go into solution here. And with them being positive, they then migrate across to the cathode. And when they get there, they receive electrons, they become reduced and they become copper metal again. So we get a transfer of copper from this electrode here, the anode, going across uh, onto, onto the cathode. So what should happen, what we should see happen, is that as, this co as copper leaves the anode and gets transferred here to the cathode, the copper anode should get lighter and this should get heavier. So I'm going to set this up now and see if that occurs. So I'm going to weigh this <coughs> copper anode first. And I have got one point. I've got one point eight five grams. That's the weight of the copper anode. I've written that down, and we're now going to put it into the solution. Put it in place like that. Here is my copper cathode. I'm going to weigh that now. And the copper cathode weighs 1.87, no, 1.88 grams. That's my copper cathode. And I'm going to put that into the solution like that. I have to take care not to have the electrodes touching because if they touch, we'll short circuit and it will stop working. So we're now set up and just as a quick recap what we've, what we've got here we've got our copper anode and the copper metal is going to go into solution so we're going to lose electrons so we got the copper here is going to be oxidized we've got our copper going into solution becoming copper 2 plus ions those copper 2 plus ions are going to migrate across because they're attracted to the negative cathode when they get there they're going to receive electrons, so they're going to become reduced and they're going to turn back to copper metal and they're going to build up on the cathode. Right, so let's turn it on. Okay, so we've left the electrodes to undergo electrolysis for about five minutes and you can see there we've got the, um, there's the anode and there's the cathode. You can see that we've had changes in the anode there and we've had changes in the cathode. So what's happened as we discussed earlier, you have got copper being taken away from the anode here and it's been deposited here on the cathode. And if you look at the copper sulfate solution here, it hasn't changed colour, but if you look carefully, you can see that there are there are there's a solid in there. Now those are the impurities that that uh, were in the impure copper anode and this is one reason why this uh, uh, process is, is carried out you get uh, an impure copper anode you carry out the electrolysis so what you get is you get pure copper being deposited and you you get rid of all your impurities so this is one of the one of the applications of electrolysis okay uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to weigh re-weigh the um, anode and the cathode and what we should see is the anode should have got lighter and the cathode should have got heavier and um, so here we go and we have a value of 1.77 so I'm going to write this down on my whiteboard over here 1.77 okay and the original value was 1.85, so the anode has got lighter. And now we're going to look at the cathode. 
and the cathode is at 2.11, 2.11, 2.11, and that is uh, an increase in mass from 1.88. So the cathode has got heavier. Mm -hmm.